Well, Clarets, fan reaction, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Burnley 2. Um, we're back after what felt like the longest international break ever. Um, and we're back with what, in the end, is quite a resounding win. I mean, we're top of the league, um, at least for 24 hours anyway. Um, and after that, that first half where we were slightly poor, we weren't the best, um... I think Sheffield Wednesday were probably not necessarily the better team, but they'd created the better chances. Um, and certainly they looked like they were going to get the opening goal. Um, but thankfully, you know, a mistake at the back, a great, great ball from Egan Riley. I know he's had a bit of stick recently. Um, I personally think he's done okay. He's not the worst defender we've had. He's not the worst player we've got. Um, I personally think he's done okay. Nothing amazing, not outstanding, but today the ball over the top, um, for Anthony's opening for the opening goal, for Anthony's goal, um, I thought it was a great ball and obviously a bit of a mistake at the back from Wednesday, and Anthony put it away like the man over my shoulder, Maxwell. He he put it away perfectly. Um, it was like I say, probably not deserved at the time um but yeah great great ball over the top from Egan Riley to to put Anthony in and he he finished it calmly he finished it you know he was well composed um and again he's a lad who's had a bit of stick um I think he came in obviously against Blackburn and set up Foster for the goal and then he sort of looked like he'd fizzled out a little bit um but I think today he showed what he's what he's worth and I think he deserved the goal and you could see how much it meant to him when he scored it. Um, and then, like I said, the first half was just sort of... We weren't at our best, um, struggling to put passes together. We looked like we dominated the possession a little bit more um, than Wednesday did, but overall we weren't really doing anything with it and again that's been something that we've spoken about a lot this season where we are having the possession but we're not doing a lot really with it um and we were struggling to get behind Sheffield Wednesday and I mean whatever was said at half time I mean they came out all guns blazing um they had a chance I think it was like 15 to 20 seconds within the second half um and I honestly thought, this is it, they're going to pull it back. Um, but Trafford did well, um, the defence did well to keep him out. And then thankfully, you know, I, I, I thought Fleming did well for the attack, um, which led to Brownhill's goal. I, I did feel like he was unlucky not to score himself. The ball def deflects off their keeper up a little bit and it's... You're not sure where it's going to go, but it falls to Brownie. And I'm glad that he took the shot himself rather than tried to control it and knock it on. Or, you know, he, he hit it first time, which I'm, which was good to see um, because it had been easy for him to take it down and try and control it or knock it on. Um, and the chance probably would have gone if he had done that. So, yeah, it, it was a good goal. And then from them, Sheffield... Sheffield Wednesday didn't really look like a team that was going to break us down after that. Um they sort of they sort of fizzled out after Brownie's goal. Um and it was all us basically for the rest of the match or at least till I think till about the 80th minute it was all us um in the second half. I think there were we had another couple of chances obviously the free kick from Anthony which you know, we're crying out for a set-piece taker who can take those free kicks, who can take the corners. You know, we're, we're, we're crying out for someone like that. Obviously, we had Scott Twine, but he wasn't, for whatever reason, wasn't wanted um, last season and then obviously this season we've let him go. Um, so we're crying out for that sort of player who who can be good with a dead ball. Um and Anthony obviously hitting the post with the free kick and then bounces off and Sarmiento, he should be scoring really from the position he was in, but that goes off the post and 
I'd like to think on another day we we get another couple of goals. Um, I thought that's that's the only thing that's sort of missing for us at the moment. Um, you know, we're we're getting these results when we're not playing well, um, or at least when we've not been at the best. I mean, Preston wasn't the best. Um, Plymouth, we weren't at our best. Portsmouth, we weren't great. You know, but we've we've been getting these results. And today's another one where the first half we weren't great. You know, it, it was another where it did feel like a pre-season friendly. Um, but obviously, second half, we've pulled it out a little bit more and we've done well. Um, but yeah, it's it's a sign of teams that do go up as champions. It's a sign of teams that, you know, can run away with the league when getting those points and getting those results when they're not playing well. Um and obviously we've we've done that again today. Like I say, second half we were much better. We were much, much better in the second half. And I think you know, what whatever was said at half time, whatever happened after those first five minutes of the second half where Wednesday really were on top and probably should have got a goal to equalise it. Like I say, after the first half we probably didn't deserve to be in front. Uh but second half, we've we've definitely deserved the three points there today. Um, but yeah, it, it's another another one of those games where we've ground out a performance, and I'm happy happy with that. Um, but yeah, the there was no one who stood out as absolute solid today. No one who stood out as a man of the match. I mean, Steve, we know how good he is. Um, Humphreys, I thought he played well. Loren, I thought he played very well. You know, we've got another another clean sheet. I think that's is that five for the season now for for Trafford and four in a row or something like that. It's you know, we're we're sitting top of the league, we've not conceded that many goals. Um we've got these clean sheets in a row and we've still really to get out of second gear. We've still not clicked. We're waiting for that click moment and I think a lot of questions have been asked about the identity of the team and what style of play we're going to be playing and who we are as a team now. Obviously, we had Deitch Ball. We've had companies free-flowing, passing around uh, style of play. And we've been waiting to find out what our style of play will be under Parker. And I think this is it now. I think our style of play is get the ball and dominate possession and do not concede, do not let them score. Um, and obviously try and score when we can, which I know it sounds basic, I know it sounds simple, I know it sounds daft because every team wants to do that, but that does look like how Park is setting us up for the rest of the season. And I think if we can get someone who can get firing, if we can get someone who can be scoring those goals, <clears throat> we'll be okay, we'll be fine, we'll, we'll get top two. If we can get someone who can be scoring those goals, I think today showed that we don't really miss Foster, um, as much as you know we want him back and we want him firing and we want him scoring the goals. I do think today showed that we don't really miss him. Um, you know I think Fleming did well with his pressing. Uh, he held the ball up well. He probably did hold the ball up better than Foster does. I think we might have missed his. Missed Foster's pressing a little bit, but I don't feel like we missed it too much. Um, I think Laurent coming in in place of Hannibal was excellent. Um, I think Laurent was probably... I've said about there not being anyone who was stand out, but I think Laurent probably just edges that as probably my man of the match. Um, but yeah, it's we need that click there. Um, we're still waiting for it. But second half, much better than the first half. Um, can't grumble at the result. Can't grumble at being top of the league, at least for 24 hours. Um, can't grumble at another clean sheet. And yeah, uh, I think, is it Hull on Wednesday that we've got now? So hopefully they can do us a favour tomorrow and beat Sunderland. And then, yeah, we, we go to Hull on Wednesday. Hopefully get three points there and then we're back on the turf next weekend. Up the clarets.